it is not about, it is not about uh, entering a sort of war in which I'm trying to eliminate something. In this way, I'm just developing a new ego, right? So then there is the ruthless ego, the, the pitiful ego, and the ego that wants to, to kill them both, and so on and so on. Then there, there is the one that wants to kill the, the new ego that has been developed. And, and, and this is a sort, of, a sort of endless chain. And we have enough of that in the world, right? Of people wanting to kill other people. So we don't need to, to create a battlefield of our own, right? So if I want peace, this is definitely not, not the way. Peace comes about by, by understanding. Egos are, do not dissolve they are understood, simply understood. When I, I look into an ego and, and I see what, what it is made of, what the, the, the source of confusion is, and more importantly, far more importantly, far more importantly than the ego itself, is why am I holding on to this ego? Why do I identify with it? Why do I choose it? Because no thought, no emotion, no self-image, no ego, for that matter, have their own independent existence. Very often, when I say, how do I get rid of something, this means that it has its own presence, and then now I need to try to, to do this, but I've created it. I am the creator. I'm not, a, if we're talking about victimhood, I'm not a victim of my thoughts and emotions and, and, uh, and egos and, and memories. Even a, a memory that I, we say, the memory keeps hunting me. I cannot get rid of the memory. Why does it have to re keep returning? This annoying memory, leave me alone. I want to be free, I want to be enlightened. This is a joke. This is fooling myself because I hold on to the memory, not the memory holds on to me. And memories cannot hold on to you. They don't have the power to do that, you see? And in fact, there is not even a single pattern, a single thought, a single emotion, a single ego that can do that. They are just don't have the power. You, through your awareness, give, give this the power, you see? This what, remember what we said during the talk. You are the light. Not in a mystical Christian way. You are the light, unless we, un we understand what Jesus said in, in uh, other ways. You are the light, the, you are the awareness that, that, that illumines the, the world. And when you give something attention and you give, you give it reality, it becomes real. So if I decide to give a certain memory reality, it becomes real. And then what happens is that it doesn't let go of me and then I become a victim of that memory. And then I'm, this is a loop of self-deception. So if you want to get rid of, of victimhood, start with, with this, you see, with noticing how we are imagining that we are the victims of this ego, of victimhood. <laughs> and that we have somehow fallen into the hands of some vicious ego that wouldn't let, let, let us go, right? There is no such thing in the world. So then ask yourself, what is my interest in keeping this ego? Why do I want it there? What does it give me? How does it protect me? How does it help me to... to perhaps create a certain persona, uh, a social personality, 
Maybe people uh, pity me. Maybe people uh, don't demand so much from me when they see that I'm in such a, a state of victimhood. I'm so powerless, what can I do? All this, I'm not saying that these are your motives. I'm just saying, check it through the, the in wisdom eye of your, of your awareness. See with, with burning honesty why you wouldn't let go of this ego. You see? So when I come and say, I want to understand why I don't want to let go of the memory, your whole relationship with the memory has changed, you see? That's it, you have become mature. This is your doing. And because this is your doing, this can also be your undoing. And how do I undo? By understanding. 